Hey guys, it's Dylan here from Helpful Mac OS X Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, make a new administrator account on your Mac if you've forgotten the password to get into your Mac. So if you've forgotten uh, a password to your old computer or only have access to the standard account on one of your old computers, um, I'm going to show you how to um, make a new account. Now you won't need any CD or anything, you'll just need the computer itself and you will not lose any data. Um, this is for educational purposes only. Trying this is at your own risk. Um, and I highly recommend your computer or your Mac be at, um, be at the minimum requirement of 10.5.x, x being whatever. So any 10.5 operating system. Anything in 10.4, uh, I don't recommend because there's been quite a few crash reports. So anything above 10.5 should work quite well. Um, let's go ahead and get started here by first turning off your computer. So if it's not already turned off, go ahead and hit the shutdown button. Okay, once the computer is uh, turned off, give it about 10 seconds to make sure all of the systems have turned off. Okay, now you know your computer has turned off fully, you're ready for the next step. Pay attention though. Once you hear the chime, you're going to want to hold down Command and the S button. Um, this will boot you into single user mode. Okay, so Command and S. Um, let me go ahead and do it myself. Let me turn on my computer. As soon as you hear the chime. Okay, now we are in single user mode, okay? Wait until all of the information has stopped coming up on the screen. Uh, just to be safe, wait about 10 to 15 seconds after you see the last line come up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so once we're in single user mode, we need to... Um, mount the hard drive. Um, I just want to tell you to make sure you are in single user mode. There should be a black background with white text saying some similar things to what my computer is saying right now. Once you're ready, go ahead and press the forward slash button, then type in sbin forward slash mount space hyphen or the minus button uw space forward slash go ahead and press enter okay you should get a colon forward slash and then a space in where it should say roots once you get there um, now you know the uh, hard drive has been mounted uh, you can now edit the file systems that we need to. We're going to delete one file that will make it think that it's a brand new computer at the box. So it's going to think that, hey, you just got this computer from the Mac store, and now we need to set up a brand new account because there are no accounts set up on this Mac yet. So in order to do this, um, we need to type in rm space forward slash var forward slash db forward slash period apple setup done all one word apple setup done okay and um, go ahead and press enter okay 
Now the file should have been uh, deleted, so we can now go ahead and restart the computer. So, um, we just need to type in the command reboot. So, R E B O O T. And go ahead and press enter. You should see a few lines of information come up, and then the computer should restart. Um, wait for the um, computer to load up, and uh, wait for the screen to come on. There we go. And that's the Mac introduction video. When you pull it right now, oh, right out of the box. It's the welcome saying it in a bunch of different languages. Okay, so it's welcome. It says, to begin, please click what region you're in. Um, I'm in the United States, so I'm going to go ahead and click United States. Now, if your country's not here, you might need to press the show all button, because it might not be showing all the countries. It's just showing the most popular countries. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to hit continue. I have a U.S. keyboard, so I'm going to have that U.S., click continue. Um, do you already own a Mac? Now, this is a very important step. You need to pay attention here. When it asks you if you would like to transfer the data from your old Mac, you must press no. Do not transfer my information now, because this will mess up the process. So go ahead and click do not transfer my information now, and click continue. Okay, please select your network. I'm going to go ahead and select my network here and type in my password for it. Okay, and now I'm going to click continue. Enter your Apple ID. Um, this is optional. I'm not really going to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and select continue anyway. Okay, the next step is to register your information. It is required, so make sure you do it. It's all pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'm, I'm going to uncheck this because I really don't want that. I'm just going to select home. And what describes you? Um, put some video and a film. Um, this will be published in these videos to YouTube. Okay, so now I get to create my account. Um, I'm going to change my short name just to... Uh, Dylan, and I put in a password. Um, let me make up a password. And let me verify that password. Uh, you can optionally input a password hint. Press continue. And uh, we can take a snapshot. Um, take a snapshot of my camera right here. Um, and yes, I'm Atlanta, USA time. Click continue. Don't forget to register. Done. Let's wait for it to load. Okay. This is the last step. I've now created a new account on my Mac. It is an administrator account. I have full privileges to everything. But it's not going to have any of your prior information on it. All the data prior to you doing this, these steps will be on the account that you had previously set up. So if you want to get there, you're going to have to go to System Preferences. Um, seeing as you are an administrator, 
you can always change other people's information. So uh, make sure you, if it's not already unlocked, unlock it, type in your password, go down to that one that you were used to be working on and press reset password. Type in the new password you want to have. And press reset password. Um, that should have worked. Let, go ahead and close this down. Not now. Go ahead and log out of this account. That account will stay there. It won't get deleted. It will stay there permanently. And let's try this other account. See if it works with that new password I just set up. Let's type that in. And logging in. It works perfectly fine. Okay, guys. Those are the steps to uh, get back your account. Um, see my next video on how to crack a max password. Um, if you want to see that, um, go ahead and go to my channel, and it should be the video above this one. Guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Post any questions that you might have.